Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. A number of valiant defenders of the globe continue to insist that cherry-picked images of these pylons going across Lake Pontchartrain are some kind of proof of the globe Earth's curvature. Even though it's been pointed out and backed up with observations across other flat surfaces that this is an optical phenomenon caused by a combination of perspective and conditions above the water. So how can this be proven either way, whether this is genuine curvature of the Earth that should be curving away from us in all directions, not only in front of us, or perspective. Getting the proof is quite simple and the person who took these pictures can go and get that proof because he is the owner of a drone kindly donated to him by one of his fellow Globe Earth defenders. Whenever we make an observation with our eyes or an optical instrument perspective is an integral part of that observation and it all depends on where the observer is in relation to what they are looking at, their individual perspective. So this cannot and should not be ignored in any observation that is claimed to be scientific. When we look across a flat surface, whether it is a table or a lake or an ocean, we will see that surface appear to rise to our eye level meaning the halfway point between the top and the bottom of our field of view. So this means that anything that is physically below our eye level but going off into the distance on a parallel line to our horizontal line of sight will appear to rise up to that halfway point. Similarly, anything that is physically higher than our eye level going off into the distance in a parallel line to our line of sight will appear to meet at that halfway point. Just as the parallel lines of a train track will appear to meet in the distance even though they never actually do. In addition to that, as is done in practice with any scientific observation such as surveying, the eye level or the center of the field of view of an instrument aligned horizontally will be in line with the distant object that is the same height as the observer's eye level. We uh, raise the camera up to the same level. Now our eye level is level with the top of this lighter. You can see that all the lighters appear to be the same height, which they are. But the moment we go down below that level, all the lighters appear to get shorter and shorter over distance. And they will also appear to get closer and closer together, even though the distance between them is about equal. So, in order to ascertain whether or not this is in fact curvature of the globe Earth that we are seeing, or perspective, or perhaps a combination of the two and other variables, all we have to do is take a drone equipped with a camera up to the same height as the top of the nearest pylon. If the pylons are physically the same height but following a curve on the surface then we should see these pylons curve in the same manner as we do from this lower perspective and we will see those more distant pylons dip below the camera's eye level. But if the pylons are all physically the same height going across a flat surface then they will all be in line with the camera's eye level that is in line with the top of the pylon in the foreground. And in order to be truly scientific about these observations a secondary observation can be taken 
looking at these pylons from a perpendicular perspective so that this row of pylons is seen across the drone's field of view from left to right and with such extreme curvature here over a distance that is less than 20 kilometers I believe we should be able to see an equal amount of curvature from left to right given the theory that we are on a ball earth that should be curving away from us in all directions. It's quite simple really. If something is bent, we can see that it's bent from pretty much any direction that we look at it from. But we can expect the same old illogical excuses from those trained in the art of defending the globe on the internet that even though this is apparently curvature over a very short distance across a lake, no less, you still have to be really high to see curvature because it's so slight. And the Earth is so big, didn't you know? Thank you very much.